Hey guys, have you heard of interest or simple interest or flat rate interest? Well, they all mean the same thing. What's interest? Let's find out. Interest is a term used when financial institutions such as banks charge for money borrowed or a payment is made for money invested. What does that mean? It means that when you want to borrow money from a bank, you're asking for an amount. What they'll do is they'll give you the amount, but you're going to have to pay back the amount that you borrowed plus interest on top. So you're going to borrow an amount and then you're going to pay the amount back and another amount, which we, we call interest, on top of that back to the bank. It's a charge they charge you for borrowing money from them. Same way, when you invest money with a bank and you give them your money and it stays in their account and it stays in the bank, basically how does it work? They actually give you interest in return because they are using your money. Now, let's understand a little bit more about interest. Simple interest, also known as flat rate interest, is an equal payment for equal time periods, calculated as a fixed percentage of the amount borrowed or invested at the start. So, we're going to use a special formula to understand what we meant by that. The formula is interest equals principal times rate times time, or interest equals principal times rate times the number of periods, time or the number of periods. You may see that formula, I equals PRT or I equals PRN, they are the same formula. But for now, we're going to use I equals PRN, interest equals principal times the rate of interest times the number of periods. So, here we have the formula. To calculate the interest, we basically use this formula. We multiply the principal times the rate of interest per period and the number of periods. That is the theory. So remember this formula, I equals PRN. I equals P times R times N. So whenever you're asked to work out the simple interest or the flat rate interest, straight away remember, I equals PRN. That's the formula you're going to be using to find I. I stands for interest. So let's look at an example. The example says, find the simple interest paid for borrowing $8,000 at 12% PA, meaning per annum, meaning per year, for four years. So here we have a person who's borrowing $8,000 from the bank. And we said, when you borrow from the bank or the financial institution, you're going to have to pay back what you borrow plus interest on top. So this person is borrowing $8,000. The bank is charging them 12% per annum per year for four years. Now let's use the formula to work this out. We always write the formula down. The formula states I equals P R N. I is the interest. The principal is the amount borrowed. How much was borrowed? $8,000. That's how much money was borrowed from the bank. At the rate, we know the rate is 12% per annum. and the number of periods, meaning the number of years that this amount is being borrowed for, it's been borrowed for four years, so we times it by four. I equals P, the principal, times the rate, times the time or the number of periods, which in this case is four years. So this person is borrowing $8,000 for four years. At 12% per annum, they're gonna get charged interest on top for four years. So the, to find the interest, the simple interest, we use this formula, 
principal times the rate times the number of periods. 8,000 times 12% times 4. Let's work it out. Let's grab our calculator. Let's do it. Always have your calculator handy. 8,000 times 12% times 4. It's that simple. So 8,000 times 12% times 4. 3,000 eight hundred and forty dollars so this person has borrowed eight thousand dollars over four years at twelve percent per annum the interest they're going to pay on top of the eight thousand is three thousand eight hundred and forty very important they're going to pay back the eight thousand plus they're going to pay back three thousand eight hundred and forty in interest to the bank so in total if we want to know how much will this person pay back in total? They are going to pay back in total A for amount, the principal they borrowed, plus the interest. So altogether, they're going to pay back the $8,000 plus interest on top. $8,000. Plus three thousand eight hundred and forty. The total amount total amount that they're going to have to pay back is eleven thousand eight hundred and forty. So they borrowed eight thousand. Four years later, they're going to pay back the eight thousand dollars plus three thousand eight hundred and forty altogether. $11,840 will be paid back to the bank for borrowing $8,000. Let us do another example. The next example says, I borrowed $15,000 for two years at a simple interest rate of 8% per annum. What is the total amount I will pay back at the end of the two years? So here, they're specifically asking, what is the total amount I'll be paying back in or after those two years? So it's the amount borrowed plus the simple interest, just like the example before. So $15,000 is being borrowed. That is our principal. Two years is the number of periods. And a simple interest rate, that is our R of 8% PA, meaning per annum per year. What is the total amount? Let's start doing it. Remember the formula first. Always write the formula. It helps you memorize it. We've got to work out the interest first. We know we're borrowing $15,000, but there's interest on top. So we've got to work out the interest to find out in total how much will be paid back. So the principal is $15,000 times the rate which is 8% times the number of periods, which is two years. Let's work out the interest charged on this loan. Now, when we're working out with the calculator, remember, we have to write everything and always double check in our calculator. I've seen too many students, they make a mistake because they've missed a zero or they forgot to put the percent sign or they forgot to put a times, they put a plus. Very important, when you're working the calculator, you check and you double check all the time. So 15,000 times 8%, remember it's not eight, it's 8%, 8 which is eight over 100 or 0 0.08, very important. Times two, 2,000, and $400 in interest going to be charged on this loan. So this person's going to pay back $15,000 plus interest on top, 2,400. So altogether, the total amount is 15,000 plus 2,400. $17,400 will be paid back in total. $15,000 amount borrowed plus the interest on top. $17,400 in total paid back for this loan for two years. 
at 8% charged per annum.